read-along, a word that refers to an event in which two or more individuals read the same book or series of books in unison, providing a feeling of escape from life's troubles, such as being chased by a subpar actor with a unibrow and an ankle tattoo. A read-along may cause reading an often solitary activity to feel more social, much like one might feel when surrounded by loved ones. That is, if those loved ones haven't perished in a mysterious fire. Hello Booktube, my name is Kate, and this is my channel Chapter Kate. This is not a happy video. This is not a joyful announcement of glee. If you are looking for a happy video, I encourage you to click away from this video. Nah, I'm just joking with you. This is an announcement for The Unfortunate Read-Along. I am going to be co-hosting a month-long read-along with Joe from Not So Average Joe. I decided earlier in this year that I wanted to read all 13 books in the series of Unfortunate Events because I hadn't read them because I suck and I wanted to read them in October because it seemed like a good time for it. I just wanted to do it. And I was talking to Joe and I was like, hey, I'm doing this. And then she was like, hey, I'm doing this. And I was like, let's do it. Let's buddy read it. And then I was like, what if? We did a read-along, and Buddy read it with lots of peoples. So that's why we're here. The read-along is going to last from October 1st to October 31st. So the entire month of October. We sort of have it planned out to have certain books per week, but if you can't stick with that, that's fine. Just read at your own pace. The whole goal is just to get them done by the 31st. Our layout is just to help you sort of disperse them amongst the days. There's a bug in my book. So the first week, which is... The first through the seventh is dedicated to books one through three. And during this week, there's a video challenge, and it is the unfortunate book tag. The second week, October 8th through the 14th, is dedicated to books four through six. And during this week, the video challenge is unfortunate vocabulary. And this will be a video where you talk about your five favorite words. So just five words that you really like. The third week, the 15th through the 21st is dedicated to books 7 through 9 and during this video challenge you will be creating a, an unfortunate invention. So this is just an invention that can either make reading better, another hobby better, it can be completely nonsensical, I don't care, I'll probably steal your patent. Just kidding. Or am I? And then fourth week, 22nd through the 28th, it's dedicated to books 10 through 12, and the video challenge for that week is an unfortunate treat. So it'll be you making a video of you making a treat to eat with your teeth. And then the last week, the 29th through the 31st, it's only a couple of days. It is dedicated to book 13, that way you can have a couple of days to hang out and do your Halloween thing. And the video is just doing a wrap-up. So, if you already do a monthly wrap-up, it's not going to really be anything extra, if you know what I'm saying. And we're going to put all that information down below because I know it's a lot at once. But we're definitely going to have video challenges. We're going to have books dedicated to certain weeks. We're going to have a Twitter. And it's going to be unfortunate read-along is the Twitter. We'll put it somewhere. Probably down there if I forget to put it in the video. If you are going to participate in this read-along, I hope you follow us on Twitter. I hope you like this video, comment, tell us about it. I have never read the entire series, so I'm really excited to just get through them. I've only read the first, like, two, maybe three, probably three. I think it was three books. So, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you're not excited, keep that negativity to yourself. But that's all I got for this video. And now I'm going to finish it off with a quick booktuber spotlight. The booktuber spotlight today is Not So Average Joe because she's hilarious and awesome and I enjoy her and she likes Howl's Moving Castle. Her videos are entertaining, they are deep, they are well communicated, they are thought out, they are informative and they're great to listen to in the car which is where I listen to most of my videos but if you're not listening to them in the car and you're able to actually watch them, they're visually great. She's awesome. She's got cool graphics that her fiance makes, which is cool. So, check her out. And if you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye! Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night. I feel the soldiers coming, I'm done pulling up a
fight. I 